Well, good morning, and uh, Shelly and I support this referendum for very different reasons. Uh, I, I'm a conservative Republican where she's a, a progressive Democrat. And you know, I spent a lot of time this summer even railing about the legislature increase in taxes. So people have asked me, why, why are you out here to support this now if you oppose tax increases at the state level? And it's pretty simple. It's for the same reason, to keep the tax burden low on the people of Spartanburg County and the people of South Carolina. We've got a couple of choices. We have dilapidated buildings that are now a public safety hazard, not only to the employees who work there, like our wonderful clerk of court and her staff, but also to folks coming in. When you've got uh, criminals, convicted criminals, walking the same hallways with kids going in and out of family court, that's a public health crisis, not to mention uh, the mold issue. So it's got to be addressed one way or the other. So the two choices are we get a permanent property tax increase, we do a six-year 1% sales tax increase. I'm going to go with the temporary sunsetted 1% uh, uh, sales tax increase versus a permanent property tax increase. And my belief is we're in this position for years of financial mismanagement at a whole lot of levels. Uh, not the least of which, even at the state level, the local government fund has been continually withheld by the legislature to state and local officials. We've got sheriff's offices trying to pay sheriff's deputies and the legislature's withholding the money and holding the money hostage. So we support this from the Republican Party for the primary reason we want to avoid a property tax increase. We want to promote public safety. And frankly, we need to send a message to the legislature, do your job, return the local government fund to the local governments. And that's why I'm here today doing something I never thought I would do, which is supporting a temporary sales tax increase. So I thank you, for, thanks to Alan and the chamber for arranging this. And it is a wonderful display of bipartisanship between the parties. And uh, you know, who knows, we, we might even be able to get John McCain on board. If you've got Republicans and Democrats, you might even get John McCain. So thank you guys.